Now we gotta be on. Now, <laughs> now we have to talk about shit. Um, like, what's a good subject? Uh, music is in the music. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> um, All right. Well, first of all, thank you guys for coming to the tavern. No problem. Cheers. 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 Oh, I missed you on the end. What would you get? You guys are shot or something? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm You know, we're missing a lot in the music industry, you know. I like to listen to a real good band. Yeah, I know. You know, uh, so much now is relied on, you know, uh, studio artists. That's what I call them. Yeah. Um, and the fact that they have the money behind them. And true artists, like Adele. Mm. The, I mean, she's phenomenal. Amazing. Um, and those type of artists are starting to slowly come back. Yeah. You know, and... When you're I, I don't know that they ever went away. I well, think that they're well, slowly creeping back into the mainstream. This is separation in yeah. the yeah, media. Yeah. 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 It's media. And I, I think a lot of the, the exposure that they're getting now is the the ability to go on the internet and really reach a wide audience before any record company ever sees them. Mm -hmm. You know, you see this happening again and again and again. I, I mean, a prime example would be somebody like Justin Bieber, who really built his career up Off on his own. Yes. You know, and, and sure, you could say, oh, pop and blah, 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 but... You know, yeah. I mean, the kid did it on his own, and then now look where he is. Well, right? but if they make it, when you can make it look like, uh, oh, he was a success overnight, then you did a good job, because any artist that is successful had to work at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Seriously. from Beyonce yeah. to Justin Bieber, from Usher to uh, Maroon Five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody had their stories. Everybody struggled, but it goes back to your work ethics and tenacity and being persistent. And as long as you do the work, and not only that, but you gotta love it. Yeah. You know, if you're in it to try to make money, it's not going to work. It just won't work. But if you love it, you gotta love it. If you love it and you have the passion for it. That's so have, true. It's going to it's going to work. It may not may not work when you want it to work. Yeah. But it will happen. Right. You know, you just have to have that passion yeah. and you have to love it. Well, at the very least, you get to be passionate about what you do, yeah. even Absolutely. if you don't Regardless make it Regardless of the result. Yeah, and, and that's the reward in and of itself, satisfying that that inside part that drives an artist to, to produce art. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, we, 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 artists don't produce art to be famous. They produce art because there's just yeah, drive but it's that, inside them. It's that balance that, unfortunately, the you know, the music industry goes through several struggles. And the one at the moment yeah. is, I mean, you know, a couple of decades ago, artists would get a chance to you know, to be developed, which means, you know, putting the time in to work out who who they are, you know, you know, in, in terms of their artistry and what they want their sound to be like and their influences and their ability to grow. And it's like, if your first single, if you're released on a major label these days, if your first single doesn't, you know, rocket straight to the top, you, you won't even get a chance to release your record. It's like, you'll just be dropped or shelved yeah, and that's yeah. the end and you end up owing and you'll never be, no one's ever gonna wanna pick up that tab and pay off your debt in terms yeah. of, the record label so you don't yeah. get that chance and that's the the industry sort of forced a separation between what happens on an indie level and what happens on a major level and yeah. whether you choose it doesn't matter which route you know you choose it's a it's a matter of building it from the fans building it with a great team yeah. you know I was chatting before about you know we were chatting about having a team and a right. good solid team Absolutely. around you and building a real foundation then building on top of that right. and then if a record label comes along whether you sign or not it should be irrelevant
has become another um, another like if you can't win the lottery go yeah. and try to become a rapper or try to become a singer and right. that's you know that's the um, availability of uh, um, uh, tech technology has allowed people to record and do different that's things right. and it's Absolutely. it's a good thing because a people get to express themselves but it it changes how people view artistry and musicianship because just because you, you're able to record or play doesn't, doesn't mean, mean you're, you should. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, you can, well, you can, be, you can because people can, music, people can use it as a hobby because, you know, music is a very powerful thing. Right. right. There's a distinction between, you know, a hobby and a career and a professional. Not everyone career. can be a professional NBA player exactly. or in the NFL. Yeah. Not exactly. everyone can be a doctor. Yeah. Not everyone can be a lawyer. Exactly. But the great thing about the internet is everybody can thinks they can yeah. for as long as they want. That's true. And even if they've only got 500 viewers That's right. worldwide, they can keep doing their nonsense. Well, some Which of them, you, some of them, have millions of I'm viewers worldwide. The interesting thing we did a uh, we did a show for Machine Gun Kelly, uh, one of uh, P Diddy's artists. And uh, we did a contest on Reverb Nation, have an opportunity to open up for Machine Gun Kelly. Uh, amazingly, I didn't, I didn't even know who Machine Gun Kelly is. I'm like, who's Machine Gun Kelly? And then when they say we're bad boys, and I was amazed on how many people submitted to open up for this kid. It was like over 500. But it goes back to what you were saying, that like the first 30 seconds, the first 30 seconds of your song should be the best part of your song when you're trying to impress one of these A&Rs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, that's, it's, it's true. It's, I think it's finding any angle. It doesn't matter what your angle is. And people are like, what's your gimmick? What's your thing? What's your deal? Mm -hmm. That's true. I mean, I think in terms of um, the mentality of, of really everyone, when they listen to music, they you kind of want to have a vision in mind of what, what, what's the artist look like? What do they do? What's the culture that's, you know, what's the culture associated with the music? Because that's just how we think now. We think in terms of what's, you know, when you see the video clip and it doesn't match the song and you're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> well, and I think a lot of that is because of the internet and the way it's changed the music industry and the way people can find music so readily available out there now. There's a million artists out there that you don't have the luxury of someone actually listening to an entire song. Yeah. If you're not catching them by the time you get to your first chorus, 
they're lost I because their that. attention span right. now is a lot less because yeah. of the internet. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not only the internet. I mean, it's a lot of things. I mean, it, 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 it's just the way that we, it, it, culture. Become. I mean, yeah, if you watch television, it's clip, 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 clip. It's right. new things Shock quickly. value. And yeah, it's shock value. It's this and that. I mean, we could go on and on about how mm. it brings on ADD and all this other stuff that people are thinking about now. But, you know, sometimes as an artist, it's, it's just a matter of, sort of removing yourself from that fast-paced mm -hmm. world and sort of settling down and Absolutely. and sometimes it requires mm -hmm. stepping out from where your comfort zone right. is and going somewhere else you know you look at somebody like Jimi Hendrix and much like you you know Jimi Hendrix had to go out of the United States to kind of find himself I mean I, I, as an artist when you moved from here to France did that sort of bring you back into uh, definitely I think um, <coughs> anytime you move um, anywhere, there's um, a period where there'll be a lot of um, introspective yeah. moments and you'll have to kind of face your demons and get to know yourself on a different level. If, if you're doing it correctly, you know, you can continue to run. Um, and I think, honestly, when you <coughs> go through something like that personally, it affects you artistically yeah. because it, they, only go, right. they only go hand in hand. So, um, yeah, being out of the country definitely um, made me into a stronger and more honest person, and then that translated into my and music more honest also. Art, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Searching and looking for something out of reach, trying and fighting, but never able to find what I need. Looking for something when I have everything. Looking for something in all the wrong places. Looking for something, but I don't know what it is. Where will it be? Or is it just me looking for something? Amazing yet crazy. How we hurt the ones we love the most But yet and still There's no stopping once you've begun Looking Looking for something In all the wrong places Looking for something but I don't know what it is Where will it be? Or is it just me Looking for something? Like the moon chases the sun Or a battle that's never won Trying to For something out of reach But what I'm looking for Is what I already have When I have everything In all Or is it just me looking 
just me Looking for something I was in the studio one day and um, a very famous musician was saying to me, art is, it's not just subjective, but it moves. And I was just like, what? <laughs> you know, as you do, like this is not even English. But every time you go back to listen to a song, it's always slightly different. You listen, you hear something different. It's just like going back to, you could, you could be sitting in the studio and open up the same mix of a song that was a giant, you know, massive hit. And you could just tweak it a little bit and it would still be the same thing but it would be a slightly different and you could still keep building on things and building on things because every time you go back with back to it your brain is different your your ability to hear is different your you ability to in different way. your it's ability to interpret the song is different that every live performance is different this show may be great the next show you play exactly the same set and that song yeah. wasn't quite as good that show it's mm -hmm. it's one of the it, it moves and it breathes yeah. and it's one of those things you can never, it, it's, it's that endless thing of trying to perfect it, but you never will because it's no. never the well, same no. and it never stops moving. And again, if you could, it then it'd be over. Be, exactly. What would be the point of going on? It's, it's, exactly. that, it's that quest for finding that perfection well, and knowing that there's always something. But if I only. It's Lord of the Rings. If I only did this. <laughs> once, yeah, if I, once you're satisfied, where do you go? Exactly. I'm completely satisfied in my performance this and everything perfect. I've written. Done. What do you do from there? Close the book. There's nowhere to go. No, but there's no, yeah. the brain, the artistic brain doesn't work like that no, at all. It, it's it always, never stops. Yeah, it's always striving. It's always thinking, no, I could do this better. It is, this needs to be like this, and this needs to be like that. And you listen to it. And I think I think artists are their own worst critic, too. I hate you everything know? I've ever written. Yeah. I mean, artists listen to themselves, and they go, oh, no, if I just did that one. And everybody else doesn't. No one notices anything else, yeah. you know? But we... You know, artists, they, they, they look at that one thing, you know? Right. I know if I, if I write something down and I reread it, it's like, no, that's not good enough. Oh, I want to fly And I think I can I think I Cause I think I'm Superman But a boy becomes a man And his world comes crashing in It's not easy Wake up. 
my very own bell. Well, here I am. I am that man. Oh, and if you did. Skill, I don't project well. No, actually, I thought I was surprised because uh, you started out with such a mellow tone that when you did project, you carried those notes really well, and it, it was nice and loud. It, okay. Not an uncomfortable loud like I can be sometimes, but uh, very appropriate. It was Thank very you. good, very good. It, it was a good blend between you know keeping things nice and chill and just letting well, it go. Don't worry, like I worry because I think I've got a quiet voice, but at the, at the same time, I, I feel like I'm misunderstood because of my accent sometimes. I'm constantly asked, like, sorry, or I'm corrected. Come, or it doesn't come across like no, not, yeah. not musically. Yeah. Yeah. Not musically. And that's one of the things I love about artists from other countries is like, you hear them sing, you don't know they're from another country yeah. sometimes until they actually just start Speak. talking about the music. That's yeah. true. Yeah. And, but also, I think your voice is tolerable to the person here. Yeah. And you have to have that type of tonality where people will want to listen to you on coin. You know, there's thousands of singers out there. Yeah. But is your voice tolerable to the person's ear? That's the key. Right. And I just use Jedi mind trick. You will lift my voice. There was no there was no auto tuning in here. <laughs> you sounded good. <laughs> but you did sound very, very good. Oh thank you. As, as nice. you as well. I this mean, guy's got the what a killer voice. Yes, yes. Yeah, and great presence too. Absolutely. Thank yeah, you. owning that mic. Do you guys you write your own songs or you have someone else? Well, I, I do. I mean, okay. I, I do sometimes um, co write with other writers or other artists, whether it's for my project or their project. But I'm, I, th I feel like I'm an artist because I'm a songwriter and not a songwriter because I'm an artist. Does that make yeah. any sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Okay, then there you're are words, the right there are words that went together well. <laughs> what about you? What about no, I, your writing? Yeah, I write a lot of my material and I also co-write with other people. Sometimes it's, um, I find it sometimes beneficial to have like a different perspective. So Yeah, be able to step outside the box. Exactly, because yeah. artistically, I mean, you don't want to, sometimes some artists can kind of make the same song over and over again, so it's mm -hmm. good to have a different yeah. perspective. Sometimes, sometimes the entire album sounds yeah, like that. Exactly. And sometimes those artists release that same thing over, over and over and over. And then they do really well. And they do really well and you're like, yeah. you're like, I wish I could artistically just do that, but I have to be different. I have to challenge yeah. myself. Well, you have to grow as an artist, right? Absolutely. You don't want to stay the yeah. same. And who wants to stagnate themselves? Exactly. The point? It's just an image now. It's not it's not you as a person growing and becoming yeah. exactly. you know, a, a more evolved human being. Thank <laughs> you. 